Hello, humans. Uh, hey, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Undertale with Amp Boy sixty four. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Um. Oh yeah, there's an ice cream shop up here. So, yeah, we can really use this. If you, re if you remember our last episode, I um. I uh was kind of running out of healing items and I died. <laughs> Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's 25 gold. So basically every three I buy, I get one extra. Nice. Oh, I, I don't have enough. <laughs> There's ice cream hidden in the depths of watery cavern. Oh, actually, no, I, I, uh... Oh wait, this isn't actually a box. Okay. Yes. Yes. Got my card. Right now. Okay. Looking, 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 looking. It turns the brightness down a little bit. Wow. Oh, that looks so much better. Yo, that actually looks really good. Looking, looking. Who's this little peanut guy? It's not peanut, but P. What's the star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Mm, depends, depends. <laughs> what happens if you go down here? This big maze down here with a bunch of lore and stuff, but I already know all the lore. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend wanted, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Nice. Mold small. You can just spare them immediately. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through that whole area. Onion. It's an onion. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey there. I wish you were here. I'm onion, onion sad, onion sad. You here? Okay, goodbye. You're visiting the waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Me? Uh, yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though, oh, oh dang, I missed the line. I ha <laughs> oh dang it! I have to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. It be moving. And it beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. <laughs> and the aquarium's full anyway, so. Even if I wanted to, I. It's okay though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here before I live in the ocean. You hear? You hear? You hear? Hey, uh. There. That's the other room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall. Nice. <laughs> One forward. Siren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. So you have to um give him a funky tune. Siren follows your melody. Siren, 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 siren. Siren Dave is much more comfortable singing along, and then we can spare her. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, it's actually really cool. And a cool puzzle. So basically what you gotta do, take this, take your belt, take one, take your belt. Then you move over here, and place a statue. Put the umbrella on the statue, yes. And then just stand right here.
You see above there, it says A up right, A down, down right. So A up right, A down, down right. A up right, A down, down right. A up right, A down, down right. A. A. A up right, down, down right. Oh. Okay, so A up. Oh. oh, okay, so listen to this. Wait, uh. Yeah, I played it too, and it's really cool. But, um, basically, it's, it's, you just play the main melody of the tune. The, the main melody of Undertale on it. And it unlocks a secret, so... Yeah, you gotta press... A... A down right... A down down right, I think. Wait, no. A up right. Yeah. Over here. <laughs> it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. It's hilarious. You detect your item. Annoying dog. You put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> Artifact's gone. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh no, the dog. You saw it. Anyway, yeah, all that was for that that cutscene. This is pretty cool. I can leave that there because it's nice and peaceful. Take an umbrella? Yes. Take an umbrella. Ba ba ba. Hello. Yo, we got an umbrella. Awesome. Nice. Let's go. No, no, I don't want you in the rain, bro. Get me out. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. What happens if I, like, call somebody randomly? Morning, rain. Hmm? You're hanging out with a friend? Then maybe you shouldn't talk to me. It'll make them jealous. <gasps> oh, that's... I didn't know that. He has specific dialogue for if I'm hang, hanging out with Monster Kid. That's actually pretty cool. Man, Undyne is so cool. He beats up bad guys and never loses. I bet if I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night. I knew the rest of the line because I'm big breed. <laughs> Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> I wet my bed every night because I knew that she was going to beat me Yeah, there you go. That's, that's grammar. <laughs> ba, ba, so one time... We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower and the king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Well, he should have donated his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. And that got me thinking. What if Undyne came to school? How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? <laughs> she could beat up all the teachers. Actually, never mind. She would never beat up an innocent person. She's just that cool. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this seems cool. That's the castle in the background. The final area of the game. We can see it from here. The monster came right ahead of us. Oh, he stopped to see it. That's nice. We can't talk to him, unfortunately. Let's put this away. Uh, put on my shoulders. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> I love the animation. It just kind of like glides. Yo, if you call a head, don't worry about me. I'll always find a way. I'll always find a way through. Ow. What? <gasps> Yo, perfect timing. That episode just got to 10 minutes. Wow, I think Toby Fox, the creator of this game, like, was like, Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna place these all exactly ten minutes apart. That's a big brain guy right there. Why am I stuck? Why can't I move? 
Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's dark, but when I get close to it, it's lighter. I can't, like, I can't walk right. Oh, there you go. So it gets light. And then it gets darker. And then it gets lighter. That's so weird. Okay, anyway, <laughs> thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thank you. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Yeah.